Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see an exciting end-to-end -end real time streaming data engineering project. This is one of my most anticipated projects and I believe it's one of the best ways to understand how real time streaming works in a practical hands on manner. In this project, we'll be using a wide range of Azure services that performs various tasks including data ingestion, data streaming, data processing, data loading and data reporting. In addition to this, I'm very excited to share some insights into architectural decision making focusing on how to effectively choose resources based on the use case which optimizes both cost and performance. I hope you enjoyed this project. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let's talk about the use case that we are going to implement in this project. The main objective is to create a real-time weather report. This report will be continuously updated with weather information such as temperature, conditions, air quality, and other details for the preferred location. Additionally, a key feature in this use case is the ability to receive real-time alerts via email in the event of any unexpected extreme weather conditions at the location. By the end of this project, we'll have a fully automated system providing up-to-date weather insights and critical alerts to make sure we can respond as soon as possible in case of any extreme weather situation. Okay, now, before we start the implementation, let's see the end-to-end -end architecture of this project. Firstly, the data source we'll be using is an API provided by a company called Weather API. This API is free to use. Additionally, there is a great feature in this API, which is, even in the free tier, they offer 1 million API calls per month. This means that you can make an API call even for every 3 seconds, allowing us to get real-time weather reports at absolutely no cost. Okay, now let's talk about the tools we'll be using for data ingestion. As we all know that data ingestion is a crucial step in any data engineering project. What makes this project interesting is we'll be using two tools for the data ingestion step, which are Azure Databricks and Azure Functions. The reason for using two tools is there are often multiple ways to achieve the same task. But as a data engineer, it's essential to choose the right tool for each specific job. As mentioned earlier, we will explore some architectural decision making in selecting the best resource for a specific use case. That's why we will perform data ingestion using both tools and then determine which one works better for this specific use case. Also, Azure Databricks and Azure Functions are one of the most popularly used tools in the data engineering space. Gaining hands-on experience with these tools will significantly benefit your data engineering career. Okay, now, as part of the data ingestion step, both Azure Databricks and Azure Functions will be used to connect to the Weather API, pull the data, and send it as an event to a tool called Event Hub. Event Hub is a data streaming service in Azure and it's the most preferred resource for handling streaming data as it can stream millions of events per second. And once the weather data lands to the Event Hub, from there, the Event Hub is responsible for streaming the weather data to the next processing and loading step. And now, as part of this architecture, the next main component that we are going to use in this project is Microsoft Fabric. As you all know that, Microsoft Fabric has really become a popular tool recently when it comes to Azure Data Engineering. I have already created a separate project using only Microsoft Fabric and I hope everyone have completed it. In this project, the main reason for using Microsoft Fabric is to make use of its wonderful real-time intelligence feature which was not covered in my previous project. And also the other important reason is, recently, Using Microsoft Fabric along with other Azure components is the best approach for creating modern data engineering solution in Azure. So it is very important to understand how the existing Azure services can be integrated with Microsoft Fabric in order to fully benefit from both systems. And that's the main reason I have included both the Azure components and Microsoft Fabric in developing this end-to-end -end streaming project. Okay, now as part of the next step, the Event Hub will stream the weather data to Microsoft Fabric and this streaming data will be captured by a component called Event Stream. 
The event stream is a component in Microsoft Fabric which allows users to easily ingest, transform and route real-time events to various destinations with its inbuilt workflow feature. In this project, we will be creating a workflow pipeline using event stream which connects to the event hub and pull the streaming weather data continuously and load them to event house, specifically to the custo database. The event house provides a solution for handling and analyzing large volumes of data, particularly in scenarios requiring real-time analytics. It is a kind of a workspace for databases in Microsoft Fabric. Here, we will be creating a custo DB for loading all the streaming weather data. So basically, we will be using event stream pipelines to connect to event hub, pull the streaming weather data and load it continuously to the custo DB. The custo DB is one of the most popular databases, especially for working with time series and streaming data. We will be diving deep into its features and capabilities as we implement the project. So both the event stream and event house are part of the real-time intelligence component in Microsoft Fabric. This project will be an exciting opportunity to explore and leverage these powerful features. Okay, now let's move on to the next step in this architecture. Once the data is loaded into CustodDB, we can build an interactive weather report using Power BI. This report will be a real-time dashboard that updates automatically with the latest weather data. Finally, the most exciting part of this project is the use of a component called Data Activator. This component will be used to send real-time alerts via email whenever we receive reports of any unexpected extreme weather condition from the API. And then, we'll also be using Azure Key Vault to securely store all sensitive information such as keys and tokens for authentication. Additionally, we will cover the cost management aspects of the project, discovering the cost incurred by each resources and exploring effective ways to manage and optimize these expenses. So this is the end-to-end -end complete architecture of this real-time streaming data engineering project. We will be creating everything from scratch, right from setting up the data source, data ingestion, data streaming, even processing, loading and reporting, monitoring and alerting, and also the security and management experts of the project. I strongly encourage everyone to follow along and implement this project. This project will not only provide you with hands-on experience in real-time data streaming and cloud technologies, but showcasing this project on your CV will also demonstrate your practical skills to potential employers. It's a great way to stand out and boost your chance of securing a data engineering role. Okay, we have seen the project overview and the end-to-end -end architecture. Now let's discuss what would be the agenda for this project. Firstly, we'll be starting up with the environment setup as usual. One important thing to note here is, this time, I'll be covering everything in the environment setup process from setting up the data source to creating all the necessary resources for the project. The reason for this is, I received a lot of feedback from my first end-to-end -end project video where I didn't cover the resource creation and data source setup completely. I have taken your feedback seriously and made sure not to repeat the same thing again. So instead of thinking you already know these steps, I'll be walking you through everything in this video. If you are already familiar with any of these process, feel free to skip these sections. But for those who are new or want a full walkthrough, I have got you covered. Once the environment setup is complete, we'll move on to the data ingestion process using Azure Databricks. After that, we'll perform the same data ingestion process using Azure Functions. Once the data ingestion step is done, we will dive deep into cost analysis for the resources and more importantly, discuss the architectural decision-making process behind the design choices. Next, we'll focus entirely on real-time event streaming, processing and loading. After that, we'll create an interactive dashboard using Power BI. Once the dashboard is set up, we'll configure alerts using KQL queries with Data Activator to get real-time notifications. And finally, we'll finish this project by performing a complete end-to-end -end testing. I hope you are very clear about the agenda. In the next section, let's see how we can set up the environment.